I'm John Champion, and alongside me at the city of Valencia Stadium is Jim Beglin. Hi, John. At this stage, I think the players are just desperate to get out there, and this promises to be a terrific game. And here are the starting lineups. So, here we go then. Free kick awarded. A strike. The keeper, always the favourite there. Yeah, but the fans still love this guy. I mean, they keep having to go from any distance, never stops trying. Just didn't happen for him that time.
Ecuador. It's John Champion with you today, and alongside me, top analyst Jim Beglin. Hi, John. I'm really glad to be here. Let's hope these teams serve up a real cracker. Let's take a look then at the two teams. So, Jim, nearly time to kick off. How do you see this one going? Well, John, this could really come down to who finds their rhythm first. So, we're off then. I'm John Champion, and providing analysis alongside me is our expert, Jim Beglin. Hello, John. Hello, everyone. It's a real pleasure to be here. These are the lineups. So we're off then, and he belts it. From distance, it lacked accuracy. Well, believe me, when the opposition defence keeps a high line like that, it can only offer them encouragement to get in behind, and I think they should have produced more there. Welcome to this disagreement between neighbours. Behind the microphone, John Champion and Jim Beglin at the Vicente Calderon. Well, thank you. I think this is a brilliant atmosphere awaiting these players today. I can't wait for this one to start. The Vicente Calderon, it may not be the biggest stadium in Madrid, but it can hold its own when it comes to atmosphere and charm.
hits it, he scores! What a time to score! That's a dream start for this team, and they need to contain their joy a little and focus now on how they're going to follow it up. Excellent work to intercept the pass, and then the finish too. Well, you just can't give the ball away at the back like that, and in such a key area as well, that's exactly... It's John Champion and Jim Beglin on commentary duty and a very warm welcome to you all. Hi John, at this stage I think the players are just desperate to get out there and this promises to be a terrific game. Let's take a look then at the two teams. So, Jim Beglin, how do you see this one panning out? It'll be interesting to see how much of the ball their key players will see. And we're now underway. Looks difficult to get through here. Shooting chance! It's on for him. He plays it through. He's latched onto it. Takes a shot. That was really close. Oh, look, I just think he didn't get the connection he was hoping for. Nearly perfect technically, but not quite on the mark. Oh, that's so close to a dream start, and it could have made such a difference for what's to follow. I mean, this looks as if it could be quite an exciting game. Here at the Murumbi, it's John Champion and Jim Beglin with the microphones. Yeah, thanks, John. Well, we have great expectation here today for both sets of players. I mean, this match really promises something good. Let's take a look then at the two teams. Sao Paulo the city and Sao Paulo the club are both proud of the magnificent stadium that is the Estadio de Morumbi. With 67,000 seats, it is one of the country's finest football arenas.
so away we go. It's through, he's onside, and the danger cleared away. Ah, oh, intercepted. Looking for wins. Crosses towards the centre. Oh, that was such a good chance. Wins it. He goes for it. Free kick given by the referee. I'm John Champion, and here alongside me in the commentary box is Jim Beglin. Hi, John. It's been a great buzz here since I sat in my seat. I think this promises something special today. Let's take a look then at the two teams. So much has been written and said in the build-up to this game. But what sort of contest are you really expecting? Listen, this is all the ingredients of being a cracker. I just hope I haven't jinxed it by saying that. Off we go, then. They're breaking out quickly here. Looking to thread it through. No, that won't be finding its target. Can he now find a finish? He's bursting forward. He so nearly exploited that mistake. Oh, he did really well to force the mistake by pressuring him like that. That's great grip for him. Plays this forward. Intercepted. Slides it through. Yeah, they're just finding it hard now to produce that extra bit of craft that can make all the difference. That cute pass. And that was a late challenge that brings a yellow. He knocks it in. No, didn't quite get the distance he wanted on it. Yep, upside there. It's a massive relief of the opposition defenders. Great chance for the counter. He plays it through. No, it's been cut out. Sarah. 
tries to slide it past the defence. No, no way through there. Foul, clearly. Out from the breast pocket comes a yellow card from the referee. And he's going for it. He's unlucky not to score there. Oh, look, I just think he didn't get the connection he was hoping for. Nearly perfect technically, but not quite on the mark. 